Never in my wildest dreams did I think that a week ago when we did a trailer reaction to this piece of garbage, Santa Inc. on HBO Max, that it would blow up the way that it has. Back then, it wasn't even ratio. It had a 1,000 likes to about 500 dislikes. Well, all that quickly changed as the internet and everyone woke up to what this show was. And now you can look for yourself. 3.6 thousand upvotes to 145,000 downvotes. One of the worst ratios we've seen in a really long time. YouTube tried to remove the dislike button, but we click, we quickly got a Chrome extension to help fix that return YouTube dislike if you're interested in it, at least for the time being. And that wasn't the only place we saw all of this reaction. Of course, over on Rotten Tomatoes itself, a three, 3% 3 on Rotten Tomatoes, one of the most embarrassing scores we've ever seen in history. And it didn't stop there, as it is the worst rated TV show on IMDb. And the kicker with all of this has been the reaction of Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman. Because we know what this is now. Very much so, we know what this is. You can tell it from the trailer, and when you watch these shows, when you watch these episodes, it's exactly what this tells you. It is cringe, it is unfunny, and it's basically hating on white men. That's what it is. And what have Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman fallen back into? Well, if you don't like it, you're just a bigot. If you don't like it, it must just be you don't like our type of people. You don't like Jewish people. That's what they're saying right now. That is their defense. Look at what Seth Rogen said. We really pissed off tens of thousands of white supremacists with our new show, Santa Inc., which again, looks strangely like satanic, doesn't it? Which is now available on HBO Max. Please read the responses to this tweet for confirmation. We could scroll through this tweet a million miles uh, and we probably wouldn't find anything that's anti-Semitic. We probably wouldn't find anything that's like what Seth Rogen is describing. Instead, it's people like The Quartering and Yeti Cast, even Vito's down there, Yellow Flash, Mandy, that umbrella guy, it's a Gundam. Everyone is calling them out for the garbage that it is. Nothing to do with hating Seth Rogen because of, uh, because of his bloodline or anything like that, because of who he is. No, nothing like that. It's just saying that this is garbage because this isn't the first thing that's come out that's taken a dump on a certain group of people, white men. No, but there's places like South Park that take shots at everybody and do it in a funny way. The biggest sin of this is that it's just not funny. It's literally just divisive identity politics for divisive identity politics sake. And Sarah Silverman has come out with a flurry of tweets as well, including tweeting this out, which I found was very, very interesting. Now, Sarah Silverman tweeted this out, Merry Christmas and Shabbat Shalom. And it's a little clip from another very cringe video that they put up there. Listen to this. Perfect. Oh, I love Christmas. You'd have to hate America not to. Well, I guess it's time. Let's light this puppy. Tyler? Who's Tyler? Seth, it's Saturday. Tyler's my Shabbos goy. Wow. <gasps> it's beautiful. Can we have Tyler preheat the oven before he leaves? Uh, already done. Wow. That's some goy. For those of you that do not know, um, goy is a term used by Jewish people to describe non-Jewish people, Gentiles. Um, it can definitely be used in a derogatory manner. I've heard it used in a derogatory manner as a pejorative a lot, a lot of different times. So it's interesting they decided to include this in their little promotion, isn't it? You're the best, Tyler. Thank you so much. Have a great lacrosse practice. So, now what? I don't know, you want to sit on the couch and watch the fire roar? No, I would rather watch an R-rated animated Christmas comedy with a touch of a feminist agenda. I have just the thing. When I and that's exactly what it is. Except I would say it's not a touch of feminist agenda. It's much, much more than that. And when you go over to Rotten Tomatoes, there's something very strange happening. When I saw some of the reviews and how big, how, how far apart they were spaced, uh, how something wasn't just adding up, something didn't make any sense. And sure enough, I made a video about that. And Naaman, who I think is in the chat right now, 
uh, actually took a screenshot of this. It looks like Ryan Kennelson, his latest video, they're indeed using the structure of the website to block showing how many reviews Santa Inc. is getting. You have to do a couple extra clicks to actually see it now since they added a season one for some reason. But this was back 11, 19 a.m. That is about eight hours from this time right now. Eight hours. 518 reviews for the audience score. Well, isn't it strange that if I look right now, I literally just pulled this up and refreshed it, 518 reviews for the audience score. Isn't that strange? Well, that must mean then that there hasn't been a single review in at least over eight hours. That's very weird. Five hours ago, six hours ago, six hours ago, six hours ago, eight hours ago. So there has been some. There definitely has been some. What I am theorizing is that they have completely locked this score. I think they've locked this at 3%. They're not going to let it get any lower than that because they're no longer showing any more ratings. They're no longer counting the audience reviews that go in. They might let you put something down, but I don't think it's going to count into this. We've seen this happen over and over and over again in Hollywood where bad films or TV shows get roasted, rightfully so, and they say, it's just a dog pile. These, these people are review bombing and they freeze it. Rotten Tomatoes has done this over and over again. That's what I believe is happening. That's the only thing that makes logical sense. They're once again trying to do everything they can to protect these woke Hollywood lunatics. Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman are trying to blame bigotry. They're trying to blame white supremacy for all this. You're telling me that 97% of the people that interact with this are that type of person? That's what you are claiming now, that 97% of people who interact with this are bigots. You're telling your audience, if you don't like it, it must just be because you're a bigot. And people are tired of that. People are tired of this garbage from Hollywood. That's why this looks like this. That's why IMDb looks like this. And that is why the Santa Inc. trailer looks like this. These people are losing once again. And they're just so mad they can't stand it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.